Okay, good morning guys. Um, I'm Darren Bain and um, this video is courtesy of the London Hairdressing Apprenticeship Academy. Okay, what am I going to be doing for you this morning is working with a square layer haircut. Okay, now you're familiar with a square layer haircut. A square layer haircut is something that is universally used in the hairdressing industry globally. Uh, what is it? It's one of the most simple layering techniques you can use. Um, certainly something that's very, very easy to use within a salon environment. Um, I'm going to go through and break down the whole haircut um, from the very first section and tell you why I'm doing each section all the way through to the finish and the blow dry. Now, the main fundamental aspects to a square layer is elevating a hair to a fixed point. Now, the fixed point is on the top of the head and all of the hair is over directed to that fixed point. Now, some of the hair is going to be more over directed than others, but essentially, what you're trying to achieve is one line that runs across the top of the head. That is it, okay? How you go around that is really, really important. Now, every technique in hairdressing is basically like a map, okay? You're mapping your journey from A to B, okay? Where you start and where you then navigate through to the finish is really important. Not only is it important to, to achieve the look, but it's also really important in recreating that look again being consistent time and time again. So when you do it once and it works, that you can do it again and again, over and over, on the same client, on different clients, etc., etc. Also techniques are recipes, okay? You follow a recipe in a book, okay? It's exactly the same. You follow the recipe of the technique, and the reason why you do that is because you can't remember all of the techniques. So you have to remember each section. And then what happens to the sections is we name the sections, the sections have names, okay? We call it terminology, okay? We're gonna go through some of the terminology as well with you, okay? Terminology is key to understanding, again, haircuts and color. All of the hair industry basically has its own language, okay? It's a universal language that you all use. Now, the more understanding of terminology you have, of course, you're gonna have more of an understanding of the haircuts that you're asked to achieve. Okay, let's just touch briefly on a couple of them. So if we start out, the first key factors of the fundamentals here is body, lang body language, okay, and body, body pos position, okay? So the body position um, for the square layer is very much working with a square shape with your elbows, okay? So you can't have lazy elbows when you're doing a square layer haircut. The elbows need to be raised and you need to be really working with this kind of square plane as you're working around the top and the sides of the head, okay? So good, good posture um, is important anyway, um, but certainly with hair, um, it's really, really important that you don't, you know, round your back, um, you know, you're gonna get back problems, especially later on in your, in your hairdressing career, okay? So good body posture. Um, number two, I'd like to talk a bit about the sectioning and the terminology, okay? Now sections and the terminology, as I've just touched on, are super important, okay? For all of those reasons, what I've just mentioned, okay? Some of the terminology I wanna to talk to you about is the apex, okay? Apex is the top of the head. The radial sections, radially, radially working from one side of the head to the other. <clears throat> profile line, okay? The profile line, again, will be working on the profile of the head, which is exactly working on the side of the head, as you can see with the dolly. Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, all of these sections that we use in the hair, okay, are vitally important, okay? What am I gonna be using on the square layer is the vertical, okay? And then I'll cross check it on a horizontal, okay? We also wanna talk a bit about awareness and conscious, okay? So when you're conscious, you're, you're really being aware of what you're doing, okay? So it's really about being aware of your body position, as I mentioned, and being conscious of how the hair is, is starting to unfold as you're cutting it, okay? So you can see if things are working, if things aren't working. Why, okay? A question that I really like to, to really ask students a lot is why, okay? Um, it expands your thought process when it comes to your practical work and obviously your, your also your, your theory and any, any sort of understanding of, of what we do, we always need to ask the question why? Okay? Because sometimes we do stuff that we just instinctively think that we need to do, but we don't always know why we're doing it. Okay? So typically, I'm going to do a square layer here. 
okay? Why am I doing a square layer? What's it gonna achieve? Why don't I just do a round layer, okay? So it's, a, it's trying to have a reason for doing something and then backing it up with a bit of knowledge and a bit more, um, a bit more of that kind of core strength to, to the actual technique itself. Then we're gonna talk a bit about head shape, okay? Now we believe generally that the head is round, okay? And we just therefore think that we cut on this rounded surface. It's not quite as straightforward as that. It's not as black and white as that. The head isn't really that round, okay? There's lots of areas of the head that are quite flat, okay? There's key areas of the head that we need to respect and we need to make sure that we not only respect, but we need to understand what happens in those areas if we do certain things to the hair, okay? Now, I also wanna talk a bit about expanded form, i.e. three-dimensional. Now, expanded form is about the expanded hair from the head, okay? And what that will look like three-dimensionally, okay? When the hair is flat, like this, okay? It's 2D, it's a flat surface. Now, when the hair is expanded, that's when you can understand the shapes and then you can understand the angles that you're cutting the hair and what the angles are gonna to do to the hair, okay? So your elevation will then equal your expansion, okay? Now that, again, is something that, for some of you, don't worry if that's a little bit confusing, okay? Because things come in time. And the beauty of doing these videos is, you know, you can watch it again and watch it again and again, the bits that you don't understand, yeah? This is the great beauty of videos. Now, you, you know, you just don't understand it at first, then you can watch it back and, and pick up little nuggets next time, okay? Then, <clears throat> We've also got the finish and the blow dry, okay? Finish, for me, is probably one of the most important aspects of the hair, in, you know, hair cutting in general. Now, if you think about it, a client will only judge whether they like their hair at the end when you finish the blow dry, okay? Very rarely will a client be looking at her hair when it's wet and start touching it and stuff when the hair's wet, unless you're cutting a lot of hair off that they didn't ask you to. The end will be, for sure, when the client will start looking at her hair and she start judging it, okay? The finish is so super important, okay? The way the hair is blow dried is so, so important. So we need to work on the finish, which again, I will go through with you. So now I've just broken it down into the, some of the key things that, that you know, we really be, should be talking about and looking at when you're doing a haircut, any magnitude, doesn't matter what haircut it is. Um, those are the key areas that I like to look at and things that I like to talk about when I do a haircut. So I'm gonna start now, go into to the sort of nuts and bolts of the haircut, okay? Really break it down into bite-sized pieces so you guys can really understand um, what it is that I'm doing. So this is my, my model, okay? Now, <coughs> with my model, I'm going to prep the hair with a little bit of leave-in conditioner spray, okay? You can just use water. What I'd like to do is go straight in to the square layer technique, okay? So I'm gonna work internally in the hair first, okay? So where is my first section? Okay, first section should be your center profile guide, okay? Otherwise known as a center parting, okay? Whatever you understand it is as, okay? But what it is, is a break in the hair centrally. Okay, use one of your fingers, pop it on, and then slide the comb back towards you. Part the hair down the center, okay? Take pride in what you do, okay? Making sure that you're doing the best job that you can possibly do. Once you've then taken your center profile, then you take a radial section, okay? Now a radial section runs from the apex of the head to behind the ear, like so. There is your radial. Okay, pop that on. And also, when I rest the comb against the head, just where the head starts to curve, there, that is spot on for the radial, okay? So again, understanding the head shape, as I mentioned a moment ago, is super important. Come to the other side, okay? Pop the head over to the other side as well. 
Okay, and then we're gonna, again, working from the apex of the head. Nice steady, finger on and comb, slide it down. Pops just behind the ear, and then you break it. There it is, separating the hair like so. So what we've got now, guys, is we've got a back and a front. That's it, that's what the radial section does. It, it gives you a back and a front. It's a very simple section, but it's very, very effective and very useful. And you'll find with a radial section, you'll actually be using multiply through many, many haircuts that you do. So front and back, okay? So I've just separated the back out of the way, and then we're gonna to come to the profile line now on the top. This is my comb, okay? We're gonna use that as a profile line. So the width of the comb, pop it back on the head, and then you take that profile section. So you take half of the hair on one side of the parting, comb it down, and then you take another half on this side of the parting, like so, separate it, and this is your profile line. Comb it forward, and again, you can see, as I said with the comb, you've got that beautiful width for the profile. Let's pop her back on that profile again. Also, you'll notice in the head is forward. We need to make sure the head is now upright. This is super important, okay? Get that chin up, okay? That is nice and square to the floor, okay? Now, the first section is coming from <clears throat> the forehead. Okay, now the first section is quite long. What I like to do, I like to work with super clean, small sections, okay? So I would take this section into a subsection. So that means subbing it into two. So I'll pop the crown over slightly, and then I'm gonna start with the forehead, like so. Now, I just wanna show you how important the distribution, yeah, your elevation is, okay? So for example, if I bring the hair forward, like so, okay, that is not square, okay? This is square, right here. So if you look at the front, let's get it on the white background there, this area here has to be completely vertical. If it's not vertical in any way, it's what we would call over-direction, okay? Over-directed, over-directed, okay? So make sure you keep it vertical to the front. So here we go, first section up, okay? Look at my elbows, really strong and engaged. And then what I do, I take a nice little slice, okay? That is my marker, that's my guide. Bring the next section up, this is, again, super strong, engaged, okay? Nice and clean and forward, okay? Nice, then what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna pop the head forward slightly, and I'm gonna take a vertical section from the crown, all the way down to the nape. I'm going to section the hair exactly the same as what I did on the top, working with the profile line, all the way from the crown to the nape on both sides. Okay, there we go. Nice slice of hair through. And again, using the width of the comb as a guide. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to subsection the back. So I'm gonna start with the crown. I've got my guide from the top. I'm gonna to bring the hair up, okay? Just popping the, the head up again, super important. Again, what I wanna demonstrate is this area here needs to be super vertical, okay? No, no, yes, okay? Remember that, and I'll tell you what, you won't really make too many mistakes with haircut, if you can always try and remember this vertical plane and the square shape that you're trying to create on the top, okay? Now as you come down, what you're gonna find is you're gonna run out of hair towards the nape. So this area here, what typically happens as the hair comes up, a lot of the hair drops away from underneath, okay? And this is exactly what it's meant to do. It's meant to drop away. Why is it meant to drop away towards the perimeter? That's exactly what a square layer is. It is about removing weight internally through the top and maintaining the weight through the perimeter. All the perimeter areas much higher elevated and therefore protects 
the weight all the way through that area there. Okay, so again, understanding and knowing what, what the technique is and what it does will allow you to have com completely um, comprehensive understanding of the haircut. Because if you don't, what you'll be thinking is, well, why am I not cutting any hair from underneath? Yeah? And that means you don't understand what you're doing. Understanding what you're doing is really crucial to understanding the end result. It's all about that. So the second section is a vertical section and it's right next door to the section that you've just cut, which is right next door to the profile line. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're going to elevate the hair up and you're gonna sub it again, subsection. So you're working with really nice, controlled, bite-sized pieces of hair. Hair comes up, 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 nice and square, and then super clean line. Okay, I know this hair, there's not really much coming off because I understand what I'm trying to achieve. So I'll just loosely bring this up and therefore the hair will fall away. And then I'm gonna continue now, next section, vertical section working around the head. Okay, section that, again, keeping the sections really clean, taking a bit of the previous section, combing the rest of the hair out of the way. This is now my section here. Bring it out, sub it, bring it up. And then again, working with the body position, tension, nice strong tension, and then nice clean cut. Okay, take a slice, come down, just check the rest of the hair, bring it up. There it comes, into the lovely square line, and then connecting that remaining piece, drop it away. Okay, and then you repeat that again, last section, take a slice, and then take the last section, sub it, bring it up, up, and then really square fingers, really square vertical elevation, okay? And then down to the bottom, bring that up, again, and the areas just connect in like so. That's the back side area complete. We then repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna be working on this side now. So we're gonna move the dolly head around to the other side. We're gonna take our first section, which is here, the vertical section. We're gonna bring the hair up. We're gonna sub it, subsection. Okay, bring it up nice and square. And work exactly the same on this side to what we did on the other side. Okay, we're keeping consistent and we're keeping conscious and aware of what we're doing all the way through. Next section, okay, vertical. Bring the hair out, subsection it first into two, so you've got a good control of the hair, good tension. Bring it up, check there's your guide, and then nice clean cut. So I'm just doing the same, repeating, repeating, repeating. Okay, all the way down, up, connecting in. Okay. Again, section, elevation, subsection, tension, guideline, cut. Okay, so it repeats in my mind. Bring it up, cut. And then you've got your last section here. Okay, bring it up, elevation, subsection, up, line, nice and square. Okay, last section underneath, bring it up, and connect in as so. Now, I've done the back. We're gonna to just touch on what we call cross-checking, okay? Now, cross-checking in, in hairdressing 
is universally used, okay? Sometimes there's some, some of a bit of a gray area around uh, cross-checking. There is no gray area with cross-checking. The, the, the clue is in the title, okay? Cross-check. Whatever angle you use to do a haircut, you cross over that angle with the opposite angle to check it, okay? It's as simple as that. What did we cut the back with? What angle did we use? Yes, vertical. So how are we gonna check it on an opposite plane? On a horizontal, okay? So we're gonna pull the hair out horizontally and we're gonna check it high elevation and a medium elevation, okay? This is vitally important that you cross check. Why is it important to cross check? Well, you need to know that you're doing your job properly. That's it, okay? How do you know if you're doing your job properly? Well, when, when you're cutting hair, it really is in the hair, okay? That's your evidence, okay? You gotta be able to check your haircuts and make sure that they're 100% balanced and correct. So this first section, I'm I like to drag the whole thing right up and I like to check it completely square. Now if there's a few little stray pieces, I like to just give them a little bit of a brush over, okay? So I'm really happy with that. Okay, got a really nice clean squareness to it. Okay, that's exactly what you should be looking for. Then what I like to do, I like to do exactly the same, take the horizontal section, and I like to bring it out towards me and check it kind of against my chest as well, making sure that I've got it bosh, bosh, okay? That's good for me. Got to do the same on the other side. Okay, here's your horizontal section. Okay, bring it up. One thing also you're gonna notice is I'm cross-checking the haircut. I haven't finished the haircut yet. Yeah, now another thing that people sometimes get a little bit confused with is they check their haircut at the end. I don't wanna be checking my haircut at the end. I wanna be checking it as I'm doing it. If I've made a mistake or things aren't quite working, I wanna know now before I go on any further making more mistakes and mess the whole thing up. I wanna know as I'm going along. I rectify it now, when I go into the side, then I'm not gonna have any problems. It's common sense, okay? So make sure that you're checking your haircuts as you're going along. Don't leave it till the end. If you leave it till the end, you know, you, you really could put yourself in a situation where the whole thing is messed up and you've got to do the, cut the whole thing again. And believe me, you don't want to be cutting your haircuts again after you've cut them, okay? Because I've done it. I've done all the mistakes over the years. Um, I've done all of them, okay? Not on purpose, obviously. Sometimes I've experimented. But, you know, you learn the hard way, obviously. But there's nothing worse than doing a haircut and having to redo it completely again. Now, let's move on to the sides, okay? Now, the sides should now be quite simple. Okay, so we've, we've done the, the profile line. So we've got a lovely guide through the side, because this is essentially where we started on the top. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work from the parting down the side. So the first section is a vertical section. It just pops be sort of behind, top of the ear. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the hair out again, and then we're gonna bring the hair up like so, and then we're gonna connect it in. There's just one thing I need to talk to you guys about. On this side, I actually drop my elbow, okay? So watch what happens here, look, get a nice in the middle. So when, when the hair comes up, okay, elbow is up, and then elbow is down. Now by having the elbow down, I keep this really, really square and vertical in that area there, see that? Okay, when I bring my elbow up on this side, it has a tendency to round off a little bit, okay? So what I do on this side is I bring it up and then I drop my elbow down and that gives me this really nice square feel to the hair. Next section. I'm just repeating now the same process. I like to subsection as I've said. So we start off here, bring it up, drop my elbow, and that really tucks it in and pulls it square, really squares it off. And then bringing it down, 
up, tuck that elbow again, nice and square. Okay, coming through to the front. Up, square, tuck that elbow. Beautiful, okay. Bring it up, tuck the elbow, nice and square. Last section here, up. And essentially what you're doing now is you're just connecting in some of those little bits. And you really got that, you got it down now, okay? You're on the home stretch. So you've got that nice and square. And then what we're gonna do is come to the other side. And actually on this side, this is quite interesting, the elbow needs to come back up again. I'll show you why. First section, bring it up. Okay, elbow here on this side, keeps it nice and square here. If I drop my elbow on this side, it will round off. Okay, so on one side, elbow tucked, on one side, elbow up. Okay, and again, this is from years of experience and years of understanding what it is that the body's doing. And the only way that I figured stuff out was by being aware and conscious. Okay, don't go into autopilot. You have to stay engaged. Okay, square. Up. Square. Okay, last section. Really about getting these last bits nice and finished to complement the rest of the haircut. Now what have I done in the side? It's cut it vertically. So again, I've got to cross check it. So I'm going to cross check it on the horizontal. Here we go. Horizontal, bring it up. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a square line on the top. Here we go. Yes. Okay. I still get a buzz from seeing that now, okay? I love to see what it is that I've tried to achieve, okay? Now, I, I wanted to cut a square shape. When I cross check it, when I see that square shape, I still get a buzz from it. I know it sounds crazy, but I really do, okay? So cross checking for me, is not just about, oh yeah, the haircut's okay. It's giving me confirmation that I've still got, I've still got it, I've still got, you know, the ability to do my job really well, okay? And that is job satisfaction, okay? That's what job satisfaction is. It's being able to test yourself and check that you can actually do your job properly. Then I go through the top, go through the middle. Ah, oh, fantastic, okay? All the way through, it's looking good. So that, is something that I'm really happy with. And don't forget, I've done quite a lot of square layers over the years, okay? But I still get as much satisfaction, even now, just doing a square layer haircut, okay? Right, just a quick recap. We did a square layer technique, okay? We started out, with a profile line through the top, we brought the hair up and we cut it square. Okay, we then went from the crown to the nape, we brought the profile line up and we also cut it square. We went from there, we went vertically around the back, okay, we brought the elevation up and we cut it square. We did both sides, so the back is nice and square. We then went into the side, we went vertically, we brought the hair up and we cut it square. So when I talked earlier about the expanded form, the expanded form, if you bring all the hair up, it's just gonna be one line on top of the head, okay? So that is the simplicity of the technique. Now, what we're gonna do is blow dry the hair now, okay, I'm gonna go for a nice smooth, flat blow dry, and then when it's dry, we can have a look at the shape, okay, and we can check the haircut, and we can maybe do a little bit of texturizing, a little bit of personalizing to the haircut at the end, 
if we need to, okay? So I'm just gonna get my brush, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with a Denman brush, okay? And I'm just gonna start drying the roots first. When you do a blow dry, it's important just to dry the roots first, okay? Okay? You need to be drying the mid lengths or the ends just yet, just the roots. So just moving the hair around, okay? It's still so called wrap drying as well. We just wrap drying the hair, We're keeping the hair beautiful. Nice and smooth. Okay, switch in your hands. Right, let's go through blow drying, okay? Now, when you blow dry smooth, okay, you just want to get as much of the, uh, the moisture out as possible. The hair is 90% dry, okay? It's almost dry looking. Now, really, really quick and easy way of blow drying in the salon is to get a clip, okay? You just clip it behind the back of the nape and you section the section horizontally across like so. Once you've done that, Take section, start out on the roof, and you dry the roots into the mid lengths and then into the ends, like so. And this will get the hair nice and smooth. We're going to do a curly blow dry, this is exactly the same principle. Bring the hair out, bring it, and then you start twisting the hair. And just in it to create movement. I just want to create a smooth, straight effect on this particular blow dry. Okay, but there's nothing stopping you from doing a different blow dry with the same section and technique. And then just work it across. Again, working with the roots, mid lengths, down to the ends. Okay. And then what you do is you just keep working with these horizontal sections up towards the top of the head.
Okay, so now the mannequin has been blow dried. <clears throat> you can see I blow dried it nice and smooth, just working with these horizontal sections like strips working around the head, okay? And what we've got at the end is just a really simple, beautiful, sleek, kind of long laid haircut. Has a little bit of detailing around the front, okay? So where the layers are sitting a little bit heavier around the top area with the shape, you just create a bit more movement through the side here, which is really nice, okay? I think it really just helps to open the face up a little bit and just give someone a little bit more volume around the front, okay? Now, there's nothing square about this haircut with the end result, okay? So when we use the word square, all it is referring to is just the way that it's kind of square through the internal area, okay? Now the end is just really soft and really simple. And as I say, there's nothing too square about it. But as you can see now from the end result, it's a very salon friendly haircut. Okay, and something you'd be doing every day in the salon. A couple of other little things just to be aware of is also um, you can cut it on shorter hair. So if we was just to bring the length up and take that away, you could actually do the same square layer on a shorter haircut, like a bob, for example. You could kind of still get a similar um, technique, but it's just working with length as well. Okay. Now, if you then wanted to personalise the haircut, you can go through it again. Okay, and you can just point cut into some of the hair and also check your baseline as well, which I haven't done yet. Okay, make sure everything is nice and square. So what I would typically do at the end of a haircut is just go through and just clean up any areas that may need a little bit of attention. Okay, and then what I would typically do as well, is just lower down, is just start going through the interior, like so, just picking the hair up and just checking into the hair and pointing into the hair and softening the ends of the hair, okay? And I would then typically go round the head, like so, and just give it a little bit of texture and what this does at the end, it just really helps for the hair to kind of move a little bit more so it's not so static and, and stiff sometimes, which it can be. So it's really nice just, just to get a little bit of movement into the ends of the hair and soften it out. Okay, so you just get a nice flow. Because that's what a client will do at the end, they're just going to get their hands in it a little bit, move it around, make it look a bit more natural, a bit more undone so it doesn't look too set looking. Okay. So I really hope you've enjoyed this haircut, okay, this is a, a square layer haircut, okay, it's been done with basically working through the internal shape, working with the fundamental technique of a square layer, and working with all of the key elements that we've just touched on this morning. Um, and they are body position, sectioning, terminology, awareness and consciousness, always asking why, the head shape, the expanded form, otherwise known as three-dimensional, and then the finish and the blow dry. okay? We covered all of that. Okay, so thank you for listening, okay? And there's gonna be a lot more videos from me. So I hope you found this helpful and useful. And please, keep watching over again if you didn't understand it the first time, okay? Stay safe, guys.